Let me make this fucking clear to this weirdo fucking lying shitbag stalker copy pasta motherfucking I'm gonna go and I'm gonna write a goddamn novel everywhere you share something Relk one first and foremost you're a fucking weirdo I know exactly who you are you're fucking Ricky's coke dealer uh, uh you you've been following me forever you took the opportunity when all things were quiet, nobody's talking about Ricky, to interject yourself in the fraud at Wrangler KFAR drama. Uh, inviting yourself in. Hey, everybody, I've got the dirt on Mitchell. And you haven't been right once. You have not been right once. Anytime that I share something, you go and copy paste your fucking long ass diatribe like nobody's trying to read all that shit. No, I don't even read it. I can just tell you you're, you're fucking wrong. Everything about you is wrong. Uh, you you know nothing. Oh, you're your fa your failed DJ. Uh, you just go through my page and find what you can. You're a gaslighter. You try to find things that are close to me. Oh, he likes the 49ers. Oh, he likes late night comics. Oh, he likes DJ music. Oh, I must make fun of that. You don't know anything. Quit lying. I'm done. Here's Here's something to get through your head. I'm done spending money on Ricky Pinzon. I have spent money for the last two years on Ricky Pinzon. And what did we find? He's worthless. There's nothing that can be done. Yes, there is a fucking restraining order. Is it going to do any good? No. Because my cops aren't going to go fucking bust down his door 230 miles away. You'd think you would fucking know that. But no, you're a fucking moron, and you're an idiot that writes these vestige of peace fucking novels that nobody wants to fucking read, because uh, you think, oh yeah, fucking, I've got it all figured out. I know him. He he likes late night comics. That's he's a he. You know, he likes the 49ers. Fuck his 49ers. Fuck fuck DJ music. Fuck fuck drum and bass. Yeah, that's why I don't put none of my shit out. Because you, you fucking gaslighters will take any little thing grasping at straws. I'm done spending money on Ricky. He was fully investigated. He's got a fucking judgment from his baby mama. I'd have to get in line. It, you, can't get, you can't get blood out of a fucking turnip. He's, he's worth this. Why am I going to sue for his $6 every year and a half? Get his YouTube fucking check? Give me a fucking break. What, what am I going to do? Get get the Coke sales? The Ricky City weed? Yeah. Fuck off. Uh, nobody lied to any FBI investigators. These his words. If they fucking interviewed him, good. They, they, I'm being told they're fucking all monitoring him. They take... Uh, and you. Uh, yeah, think about that. All your little communications. Every fucking thing. They're the ones that are probably in your fucking computer, you fucking weirdos. Um, so, I'm not, I not, have no interest in suing him or answering to your stupid, frivolous lawsuit. You will lose, and you will have to pay for my attorneys. That'll put you in the fucking hole even worse. So then you're taking money out of your fucking children's pocket. You know, the deadbeat dad that doesn't want to pay to quit his fucking semi-job uh, because... He doesn't want to pay his baby mom because he's too irresponsible. He'd rather do sit around and smoke meth or smuggle meth to Portland. Yeah, fuck off with your bullshit. You don't know me. I don't know you. Uh, KFAR knows me better than any of you fucking people. And he doesn't know shit. He doesn't know me. Quit acting like you're, you've got all the, all, the, all the shit on me. You don't got, you don't got nothing. You've been wrong. I'm fucking tired of debunking you guys constantly oh you have warrants oh the reason why you don't go to california is you have warrants oh uh that's they're both named jasmine they're both oh that's his auntie <laughs> if you did any research you would know that aunties are dead but that don't stop you from uh, weaponizing dead relatives does it you're s seriously mentally ill individuals you are seriously sick in the head psychotic sociopaths Literally everyone, even in fucking Katie Z and fucking uh, Wrangler and uh, K-Bars, think you're fucking crazy because you are. You're fucking nuts. 
but it doesn't stop them from weaponizing you and platforming you because they know that it bugs me. Um, other people have spent their time, they've done, they've covered you and gotten over it. I wish that I could do the same thing. I'm fucking done. You're boring. You're bad for ratings. Nobody cares, but you made real fucking threats. And then you laughed about arson. You sent me an email saying, I know where you fucking live. And you didn't know. It was the wrong fucking address. Hmm. The guy that says that he wants to eat my guts out my asshole. Oh, you edited that. Those are your words. You you hope a cop puts fucking 55,000 bullets in my head. Uh, you hope I get run over. Oh, let's not even mention all the fucking comments that you, you've written over the past four years. The videos that you guys have made, don't think for a second that them KFAR videos, I, I know that's your style there, fucking poetic. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna tell you this for now. Ricky is worthless. There's no, I'm, I'm seeking criminal charges, federal stalking criminal charges, federal threats. So they kick down his fucking door and send his fucking dumb ass to prison. I'm not going to stop until he is. I'm going to continue to point out this fucking weirdo that stalks cops for YouTube views, says he open carries when he's not even supposed to have a weapon, shows off a bunch of weapons on his live streams, shows off his baggies of meth. He's going to eventually, he's going to fucking get his own self incarcerated and head back to prison. So I don't really fucking have to do do much. But I'm done spending money. I ain't spending no more money. I did that. Got all the fucking private investigator two years ago when he fucking filed 15 false copyright strikes in one day. He still has not provided any evidence that he owns a single copyright. He doesn't understand how the system works. And you just lost three more fucking privacy complaints. You're gonna learn. You're gonna fucking learn. Um, and I'm gonna fucking keep on your shit because you're dumb. You're fucking dumb. Your sovereign citizen bullshit is lame. So, Relk, go copy paste, write a fucking novel. Can't sum it up in a couple words because you're a fucking pathetic goddamn loser who sells coke to Ricky. Homophobic, hateful, bigot motherfucker. When I keep saying, just shut the fuck up. Move on. Go to the next chapter of your lives. And you can't seem to do that. Have you noticed? I haven't made any videos about Tom Zebra. Partly because he hasn't gone live or put out any content. I have a giant backload of fucking videos on him. That nurse video from 2020, he really doesn't want that coming out. It is out there. It's on Facebook. All my videos are on Facebook. All of them. Even the stuff from my documentary. Even all the clips that you crave so much. There's no way you're going to get to it. There's no way. There's no way. It's all protected. It's all friends only. You're not a friend. You're not getting access to it. I don't care about YouTube. I don't care about growing my channel. I don't care about view counts. I don't care about monetization, KFAR, like you seem to think. Your whole life is about that because you're about to get kicked out of your house. Isn't that right, KFAR? You live in your fucking girlfriend's mommy's basement. You have no job. Your only income is fucking YouTube. Hate watching and spreading gossip, gossip and uh, fucking with and, and, and airing out people's family drama bullshit. You're a fucking cyber bully, uh, KFAR. Uh, Ricky, you're a fucking cyber bully. You're a stalker. And don't think that that vandalism shit isn't well documented. Who's the guy in the big silver truck? The black guy with the gray beard? Who's that guy? Don't worry. It's all coming back to you. It's all it's all adding up. It's taking a little more time than I thought, but it's fucking adding up. So keep talking your shit. Keep invading my space. I don't go to your channel, despite what you think. I don't have socks to give a fuck about you. Uh, the first piece of advice when I spent money on lawyers two years ago is do not respond. Matter of fact, I knew that before they even told me that. Haven't responded to anything on Zebra's channel in three years, four years, geez, four, five years. I think 20, 2019, five years. Fuck. Yeah. So there. Now go write a fucking novel, you fucking bitch, Relk One.
Fucking try hard. Try hard. Try harder. Not a, and I don't give a fuck about you guys. I really don't. I wish you would just fucking go away. Do your own thing. Stay out of my fucking business. I can handle multiple dramas, motherfucker. I'm... <laughs> You are nobodies in the whole scheme of things. I just worry for my life. You want to burn my house down? Your buddy, Tom Zebra, broke into my home. You paid for a process server knowing that I didn't live there? You didn't know that you had to serve the papers properly to have a, a, a lawsuit even start? <laughs> this is the guy that records his conversations in the courtroom, too. Yeah, you ain't you ain't very bright. You guys are not very bright. And I'm not going to share any more of what my attorneys and lawyers have told me uh, other than ignore you. I don't follow you to your channels or respond to your bullshit comments. I block you. Anytime you come up with a new account, I block you. Screen grab your fucking comment and block you. I don't want to I don't want to have conversations. There will never be a conversation between us. Ever. Ever. So, quit dreaming. There is no role for you in my fucking movie. You're just uh, dumbass one, dumbass two, and dumbass three. Fucking pathetic three. 